Okay guys, we should have done this video uh, maybe two months ago at least, if not a bit more. We're going to look at the Hades star cluster, which is beside Jupiter, and the Pleiades star cluster, which is like over there. Those are two of the easiest clusters, and you don't need any special type of telescope. In fact, if you have a short refractor or reflector, is even better. It doesn't have to be an apple chromatic, an ED, or anything fancy. This is a 102 millimeter. This one's Celestron, but it does not matter which one you have. It's a Acromat, a 102 millimeter F5. I got it on my SV Boney AZ mount with slow motion controls on, it's pretty high up because we're looking almost straight up, almost. So anyway, for these two clusters, you don't need anything fancy. Let's get to it. I actually, this time, I'm gonna put the cell phone to the image. I'm using my iPhone 10, not my iPhone 13. Maybe I could try it and see if it's more sensitive, but there's a live image right there. If we try to take a photo, there you can see a bit more stars. Now that we're blowing it up a bit. Let me try with this phone and see if I can get a better view. Okay, so there's the Pleiades star cluster. Somehow, I know, it's tilted a tiny bit. Let me see if I can get that a little bit better. Pleiades star cluster on my iPhone 13. So it's, I guess, more sharper on this one than my older phone and then there we go so this should be a nice cluster that you guys should try to look at um, it's beautiful and there we go i'm just using a 32 millimeter and i'm going to show you guys on my other phone uh, what i'm doing so here so here we go so I'm just using my iPhone 13. I'm using this one to tape. And then there you go. Beautiful cluster that you guys should be looking at with a 32 millimeter inch and a quarter plaza. There we go, guys. Very easy cluster to do. So here we go. So I'm just using my iPhone 13. I'm using this one to tape. And then there you go. Beautiful cluster that you guys should be looking at with a 32 millimeter inch and a quarter palazzo. Okay guys, so this is the Hades star cluster. Again, very easy. You need a really, really low power. This one's even much lower than um, the Pleiades star cluster, it kind of looks like a house. If you guys kind of look here, there's the triangle part. This one, the tip, then the walls. is a little bit smaller. There's Aldebaran, if I said it correctly. And there's a couple other stars over there. So it's a really wide cluster and I'm using a 32 millimeter. So it's, uh, yeah, very nice cluster. It's big, so even like binoculars. So I don't know what power I have right now. Um, but I'm only using inch and a quarter. Um, but anyway, that's as low as I can go. The 38 millimeter won't fit in this camera adapter. Anyway, guys, so there's the two clusters I think you guys should try. Let me take a couple of shots of it. And uh, that's it. You guys should be looking at that one there. And uh, those are the two really easy clusters to do. 
it's kind of like um, I would say 15 degrees south of the of Jupiter right now it's where this cluster is called the Hades again guys like comment and subscribe I'll see you guys on the next video there's Jupiter right there with some of its moons just for a quick little ending if you guys know anybody getting the hobby share my channel if you don't mind my link I do have members videos where once a month I post videos just for the members why not you why not me